Do I truly practice what I preach? A blessed Saturday, brothers and sisters. This is our reflection question for today. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God. We look at the story of St. Isaac Jobs, John de Brebeuf and Companions. By 1632, the Jesuits had a mission center in Quebec, where they ministered to 20,000 Hurons in 30 villages. Suffering from cold and heat, the missionaries were not accustomed to the Huron culture. When they arrived, Huron children ran to their mothers, afraid that they were sorcerers. The Hurons also blamed the missionaries for a smallpox epidemic. Still, they tried to bring the faith to the native people, to educate them, and to teach them medical and agricultural skills. John du Brebeuf founded schools and wrote a catechism and dictionary in the Huron language. He was once condemned to death, but spoke so well that he was spared. Noel Chabanel, a language professor, could barely pronounce Huron phrases. The Huron food and life repulsed him, but he vowed to stay. René Goupil and Jean Dulalande, lay missionaries, worked without pay. Charles Garnier sometimes walked 40 miles to baptize one child. The missionaries converted about 2,000 people in their many years in Quebec. Then the enemies of the Huron, the Iroquois, who resented the French, captured and tortured the missionaries. René Gopil was tomahawk while trying to baptize a baby. Anthony Daniel was at mass when the Iroquois attack shot arrows at him and threw him into the fire. Isaac in Jobs was made a slave but escaped back to France. His left hand had been mutilated but Pope Urban VIII allowed him to celebrate Mass saying, It would be a shame that a martyr of Christ not drink the blood of Christ. Isaac Jobs returned to America on a peace mission to the Iroquois for the governor of New France. He was accused of bringing a bad harvest. The Iroquois thought his box of religious items contained the play. The Iroquois attacked and killed him. The Indian who killed him was later baptized and took the name Isa. The sufferings of the missionaries are the seeds of the church. In today's gospel, Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, everyone who acknowledged me before others, the Son of Man will acknowledge before the angels of God. But whoever denies me before others will be denied before the angels of God. Everyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven, but the one who blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. When they take you before synagogues, and before rulers and authorities. Do not worry about how or what your defense will be, or about what you are to say, for the Holy Spirit will teach you at the moment what you should say. 
In this gospel narrative, our Lord Jesus exhorts His disciples to be courageous in bearing witness to Him. He promises to send His Holy Spirit to guide and to teach them what to say and do when called on to proclaim His gospel. Declaring ourselves for the Lord in the presence of others can be difficult because we live in a world which is often hostile to our Catholic faith. We can easily be intimidated into silence and invisibility. We may not explicitly deny Jesus by our words. However, we more likely deny Jesus by our actions and inaction. The Gospel exhorts us to resist that temptation. Jesus not only desires what we practice, what we preach, He hopes that we truly practice what we believe. It calls on us to publicly declare ourselves for the Lord. St. Paul says, The Holy Spirit helps us in our weakness. We need to keep on praying for a daily outpouring of the Holy Spirit in our lives and let Him work within and through us. The love and mercy of Jesus Christ, the forgiveness of sins, and the gift of the Holy Spirit are freely given to those who acknowledge Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord Jesus, you are our hope and salvation. May we trust you at all times and rely on your grace in temptation. Let the fire of your Holy Spirit burn in our hearts and fill us with a consuming love for you. Jesus, King of mercy, we trust in you. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers, and sisters. God bless our Catholic Church and couples for Christ.